Wednesday, the court held its annual long conference. They considered over a thousand petitions from over the summer, and the court agreed to continue live streaming the audio of oral arguments. That's big for the American public and court watchers who can't make the trek all the way to one first street for oral argument days. Now let's look ahead to the major cases coming up this term, affirmative action, gay rights and free speech, and a case that could reshape American elections. Let's start with affirmative action. Almost 20 years ago, a divided Supreme Court said colleges can use race in, as a factor in admissions so long as it's part of a holistic review of the applicant. Now, the court's going to revisit that issue in a pair of cases, one from the University of North Carolina, the other out of Harvard. The Students for Fair Admissions say Harvard's race-conscious admissions policy discriminates against Asian American applicants, arguing they're less likely to be admitted than similarly qualified white, black, or Hispanic applicants. And arguments in that case are set for October 31st. Next up, remember the Colorado cake baker who refused to make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple? That, in that case, the court narrowly sided with the baker on religious liberty grounds. But now, there's a similar question on the docket this term, also out of Colorado. This time, it's a website designer who refused to design a wedding website for a same-sex couple. But there's a state law that says businesses open to the public can't discriminate against gay people. So the website designer sued, and the court will decide whether that law violates her right to free speech. It's an important case, and it could clarify when business owners who are engaged in expressive activity, like making a website, can get religious-based exemptions from laws that are protecting civil rights. And finally, you've heard us talk about this case before on the show. Perhaps the most important case of all is about the independent state legislature theory. And I know, I know it sounds like a snooze fest, boring, but this case could not be Further from boring, it is a big deal and it could change how elections work. It's about who gets the final say in how elections are run in a state. Is it the state legislature who is made up of representatives elected by the people? Or is it the state Supreme Court who's supposed to be the neutral arbiter on state legal questions, including those questions about elections? It could give legislatures unchecked authority over elections and it could have huge ramifications for the republic.